It's been nearly a year since the lives of 49 people were tragically cut short inside Pulse nightclub. And this weekend, a project will showcase the faces of those victims. Maya Merlin is an artist who came up with the 49 Portraits Project. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me here. You know, for people who are just hearing about this, what is this project all about? Right. Well, I had the idea as an artist myself who likes portraiture to um, to see if I could find enough artists from around the country to make portraits of the victims of the attacks. Um, and the original intention was to make the portraits just to give them as gifts to the families. But I also had this idea that if we could find a venue to, to, to exhibit the portraits, it could also be a really powerful memorial. And you did. And I, we did find that, yes. <laughs> so there's an opening reception or gallery reception this weekend, and we're showing some of those portraits here. As you mentioned, there are artists all over the country who did these portraits, right? That's right. I put a call out um, for artists, artists who could make portraits that captured a likeness of, of the victims. And I got responses. You know, people responded in force from all around the country wanting to participate, you know, volunteering their time, volunteering their skills, um, and, you know, making these amazing portraits, um, you know, just to donate to the families. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing gift to them when they are uh, going to receive them. But this weekend, yes. I saw a lot of people. There's a huge response for this reception happening. You said yes. there were like thousands of people invited. There are thousands of people invited. And as, as soon as we started to um, get the portraits completed, I was started to share them on a Facebook page I created. And um, when the word got out, you know, Families started to find out about mm -hmm. it, and friends started to find out about it, and it's the, the response has been overwhelming. People have been so moved mm -hmm. and so, you know, touched. And, you know, the idea is that we could maybe do something healing or something loving in the response to something, you know, that was just so, so, so sad and That's what I wanted to ask you as an artist. How does it make you feel to have been a part of this project to create one of these faces? It was so powerful to do it, and I, um, it helped me process what happened. Um, it helped me feel like I could do something good, possibly, for the people who were left behind, mm -hmm. you know. And it also brought the community of artists that all came together around this, you know, it made a community between the artists, and now a lot of the artists will be at the reception, and we're going to try to hopefully meet some of the families. And you know, there's been a lot of communication online, and it's just been this very touching experience all around. And I'm sure it's going to be an emotional time on Saturday. I'm sure it will be. Yes. I haven't even gone to the exhibit yet, so okay. I'm really looking forward to actually seeing the, you know, realizing this that all these portraits in one room mm -hmm. and the power of of all that generosity and artistry, you know, and experiencing it in first you in know person. in person yeah okay. we want to make sure everyone has the information if you want to go uh, to the actual reception that's happening on Saturday that's right Can you give everyone the details yeah so there there's a reception from 4 30 to 6 30 mm -hmm. at um, the terrace gallery at City Hall and um, but the exhibit is up um, and open to the public until June 14th okay so you got a little bit of time to see it and yes. just in time for that one year anniversary that's right okay Thanks so much, Maya, for coming in and talking to us. Thank you so us. much.